Welcome to Inside Tameside. The headlines. Charity Operation Christmas Child is launched. The campaign to save Mosley's market takes another turn. And the Christmas countdown is on. But first, our top story. Tameside's own TV presenter and model, Melanie Sykes, has become an early favourite in this year's I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. The 44-year-old mum of two, who went to Mosley Hollins High School and Ashton Sixth Form College, is currently second favourite behind former footballer Jimmy Bullard. Meanwhile, a national appeal to get Christmas presents to children who'd otherwise go without has been launched in Tameside. This year, Operation Christmas Child will send shoeboxes filled with gifts to countries in Africa and Eastern Europe. There's various collection points throughout the region, while the Operation Christmas Child distribution centre for the whole of Greater Manchester is in Ashton. The Civic Mayor of Tameside joined the Deputy Police and Crime Commissioner as the Mayor officially declared the centre open. It will remain open until December the 3rd. To find out more, visit www.samaritans-purse.org.uk. A campaign to save Mosley's market ground took another turn this week as plans by Tameside Council to start charging drivers to park there came under fire. Thousands of residents signed a petition to keep the ground safe from development, which led to the formation of the Save Our Community Space campaign group. The group staged numerous protests over the last few months. A century-old canal boat got a new lease of life thanks to a donation from Dial to Donate. The Wooden Canal Boat Society was presented with a cheque for just under £750. It's to help in the continued restoration of canal boat Hazel. She's due to set sail in early 2015, providing wellbeing trips for passengers with mental illness. And Christmas officially arrived in Tameside this week with the grand arrival of the big man in red himself at Ashton Moss. Santa's first visit to Tameside this year marked the Christmas countdown. There's been light switch ons in all the boroughs, towns, and there's a German Christmas market in Denton ahead of the Christmas markets in Ashton, which will open on Saturday. For this week's sport preview, we now cross over to Mark Phillip at the Quest Media Sports Centre. Well, there's certainly an action-packed weekend of football to enjoy across the borough, with two of our local sides competing in home fixtures. Conference North strugglers Stalebridge Celtic welcome Oxford City to Bowerfall on Saturday, following a 1-0 defeat last weekend. Keith Briggs men will be hoping to get their season back on track with a win against the City, who beat Brackley Town 2-1 last weekend. Kurz and Ashton are back at the Tameside Stadium and are set to take on Matlock Town. The Nash will be hoping to build on their impressive 1-1 draw against table-topping Skelmersdale United on Tuesday evening. Elsewhere, Hyde travel across Lancashire to Chorley, whilst Ashton United head to Witton Albion. Mosley and Dralsden are both on the road this Saturday too, with the Lillywhites taking on Prescott Cables, whilst the Bloods will face Spennymore Town. Further afield, Glossop North End take on Rye Hope in the Carlsberg Bar second round. Chris Wilcox men ran out 5-0 winners against Bootle on Tuesday night in their bid to top the table. We turn to rugby action now, where high-flying Gold Williams look to stamp their authority on Heat and Moor at Ordenshaw Park. The Reds beat Fleetwood 34-21 last weekend and sit third in the table. Buckingfield head to Ashton on Mersey, whilst Glossop welcome Northwich to Derbyshire. Thanks Mark. You can read all about these stories and more in this week's Tameside Reporter and Glossop Chronicle. That's the latest. I'm Becky Carhill.